Because I was told that two different things about who uh, crucified me, uh, the Savior. I was told, like, um, his own people did it. Then I was told it wasn't his own people, it was... Like, I got a scripture for that. It was two it was, it was us. Because the, the Lord said that it was the, the, the Jews that they had to commit the greater crimes in the Roman. Well, uh, what scripture is that? Uh, Remember when they John. had it, it was like, crucify him, crucify him. That was niggas. They said, shall we crucify your king? Right, right. Pontius, I think it was Pontius said, he said, well, shall I crucify your king? And the Israelites said, we have no king to seize him. The Pontius Pilate said he found no, uh, he could find no fault in the Lord. That Pontius Pilate was a, a, a Edomite. He wasn't even an Israelite. So he was forced to crucify the Lord because of the wicked Israelites. Now, let's check it out. We watched the TV and a, and a celebrity dropped dead. Or, you know, what did Israel go celebrate? Yep. And that's how you know who the Jakes are and who the Israelites are because of their ignorance and their wickedness. Now, so uh, what's uh, Pilate was like? Uh, I can give you the Lord, or I can give you uh, or somebody of your choosing. So, you know, don't read that. Man. John 18 and 39. But you have a custom that I shall release unto you one after Christmas, after Passover. But you therefore that I release unto you the King of the Jews, the Lord. They chose to have a wicked murderer that they released out of the court. You know what I'm saying? Now, Barabbas was a robber. Barabbas was a robber. And the Lord was, you know, a perfect. Well, yeah, you know, he got extracted. Yeah, you know, he was just a. Somebody that robs, you know, they're capable of doing everything else. People in the process of robbing and killing them get, get what they want. He, he was the equivalent of one of these grimy right. motherfuckers out here. You know and that's what they're doing. He's grimy. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Show me that scripture and I'll celebrate. Yeah, listen, the scripture says to honor thy mother okay, and thy father. And that father. That seems like it's an everyday mother. thing. But you know when Father Day come around, they don't give a fuck. They come up missing. Yeah. Come up missing, right? Friends be empty. I get the fucking Father's Day. You know what they say? That's our old joke. What's the, the Father's Day is the most confusing day in the hood. Can I get an they don't even know who their father is. How they gonna have a father's day? They gotta go to Maury. Yeah, what the fuck about no mother's day, man? That's some bullshit. Some whole day, yeah. You giving praise to all these wicked ass women. For what? She got her own special day just because she had laid down and spread her legs? She got kids by five different babies' daddies. Like multitudes and multitudes. We're gonna play Dear Mama for her, even though she's a crack fiend mama. Two pack? Is there a movie coming out? I listen to that two pack. Oh my god. Like he's supposed to come out next month. Like he's some wise guy or some shit. Tupac was confused, man. He lost in space. Like one man, he one minute he a revolutionary. Right. Next minute he's robbing people. Killing. Next minute, you know what I mean? He didn't know what he was. Another, all through that all, he's committing adultery. Right. Yeah. I fucked your bitch. Hit him up. He's a confused. I mean, he he himself. had the nicest flow of them all, but he was confused, man. Like never lost in space. Lost in space. Biggie, Biggie nice himself told you that he was. A, I he told you he's a big black nasty motherfucker. Yeah. That's what he was. Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he always repeated that Richard Pryor joke that he said that bitch looks so good, he's sucking that. Yeah, that's a fact. My bitch. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. You even say that shit? You're joking. You're a fact. Joking about it? You're a fact. If he didn't get shot to death, he would have died from a heart attack. See how fat he was before he died? Yeah. Cholesterol, he didn't have blood no more, just straight butter. Wait a minute, Biggie got shot. <laughs> he had no, straight cholesterol. Right, no, right, right. Okay, now I gotta call the right. parts right here. Biggie got shot. Right. Yeah. I heard like something you. about cholesterol and yeah. heart attack. I he said if he didn't get shot, he would have died by cholesterol, high cholesterol, heart attack. Heart attack. And that's what causes heart attack and strokes. Cholesterol, cholesterol build up. You see right before he died, he was laying back. <laughs> All cross eyed and shit. It's like a little rhyme I like to rhyme. The Lord killed him. Yeah, that's the, the Lord, Lord of God. Him. They go like this. The Lord killed him. My name is Rick Ball. I'm Burger King. Ball. Play the rest of my day until I jump the ball. I don't listen to none of that bullshit. I hate this sometimes, man. I don't even want to say what's up to a wicked nigga. I don't want to die with a club with a nigga. Fuck, man. A wicked nigga is a wicked nigga, man. Ain't nothing worse than a wicked nigga. What the fuck is this shit? Uh, depending on how close he get, I'll be right back. We're going back to that Tupac. I remember I had this one dude, he had Tupac tatted on his arm. He told me that he was a prophet. Said, yeah, Tupac was a prophet. He was sent by the most high. He was sent by the most high. Wait a minute, what? I said to my dude, he told me Tupac yeah, yeah, was a yeah, prophet. We do, we do, we do. I need okay. name, address, number. This is this is serious business. Well, we profits. What you gonna do about that? Well, I'm allowing y'all to claim my name. <laughs> well, you got prophesy. You a prophet? Here you go. This is Isaiah okay, well, 45 and 7. I oh, form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. Yep. I, the Lord, do all these things. Lord does all them things. Yeah, and like you said, like uh, Lord created all this, all this shit out here. Created good and evil. This is 1 Samuel 2 and 6. The Lord killeth. <laughs> what? Yeah, the Lord killed. What? So, oh yeah, like Tupac, Biggie, that's the Lord that took him out. That's right. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. He'll bring, he'll raise up a zombie out of the dead. Just like he did with Lazarus, man. Yes, he did. He brought, power, he brought Lazarus back to life. Right. Lazarus is already in the state of rigor yeah. mortis. You know what that is? Days, it's basically like when your skin falls off. That's and when like you start are. The stinking and everything. The yeah, stink. stinking. They the stink. stink. They smell the stink. Right, right. So the Lord got the power to do any of that, man. The but Lord, the Lord went in there and he said that Lazarus uh, was dead. He, he cried. And then he, he cried. Was, he wept. Yeah. 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 That was one of his best friends. 
And he only wanted Lancers to rock like that just to display his power. Yeah. That's kind of fucked up. Just like a blind, just more something. I mean, I get the point, up. but that's kind of fucked up. Like, what's the fucked up? What's the fucked up about it? Well, you can rock for a couple days. It must have been extremely painful coming back. Like, ah, oh, shit! My no skin! No, they to no pain. They was healed naturally. They was changed. What the scriptures say, changed in the twinkling of the The Lord himself was in the tomb for the, uh, in the hell for three days. Twinkling of the uh, what they say, the time of a blink, when you blink, I mean, seconds. Yep. Oh, yeah, it's like a day within the twinkling of the eye. Milliseconds it is. I can't remember the number, though, but blink. That quick. That quick. And that's only scripture too. Yeah, when, the men of the Lord, when, when the men of the Lord gonna be rosing back from the dead when the when the uh, Lord returns. Yeah. The brothers, the righteous brothers done passed away. When the Lord comes and they are our old brothers and pastors coming back. They tell you that, what the dead of Christ and right. Yeah, I'll be right back. <laughs> Here you go, this is 1 Corinthians 15 and 50, it says, Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Right, because in the kingdom, in the kingdom, we're not going to have these sad, raggedy-ass bodies in here right now. These bodies that all decay and perish. You know what I'm saying? You got diabetes. You know what I'm saying? There ain't going to be none of that in the kingdom. The Lord going to change us and make us like Him. Gods! Gods! Oh, we'll truly be gods on that day. Y'all going off, man. Y'all going off. Y'all going off talking that bullshit. Y'all gods. Y'all gods. Y'all look like some motherfucking bums to me. That's going to have me spiritual eye. Behold, verse 51. Behold, I will show you a mystery. A mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Yeah, we all gonna be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, ain't that when the missiles come flying? Oh, yeah, that last trump's almost here. That's right. You gonna hear that sound in that trumpet? Boo, 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 boo. It's I actually gonna be them chariots coming out of the sky. The last trump. You gonna hear that that angel gonna come out with a loud it's voice saying, trump. "Come out and hurt my people." Is it barren trump? You gonna hear sirens going on? Yeah. You gonna hear some bugged out noises you ain't never heard. Yeah, it's gonna be going on. You can't even explain it to yeah. Trump. Yeah, you can't explain it. Yeah. You can't even explain it. Oh, yeah. yeah, now we're never watching. It's the day we're praying for. It's the day we're praying to happen now. Um, y'all probably gonna be out here more than ever. This is happening. I'm sure you probably already heard about it. But, um, Columbus is basically been chosen from the top cyber security capital. After that, uh, that worldwide yep. attack. Yep. That's yep. some deep shit, By too. software created by the NSA. Right, right. <laughs> that only affected Windows users, right? Yeah. There's a hidden agenda. Yeah, like six people, like, well, people from six companies came here to this city to meet up and decide that this would be the city yeah. where it would be cybersecurity. I wonder if that shit's even real, though. Okay. I got yeah, true. I got a Windows machine that had. I don't never use it, but it's, it's all right. Yeah. I know my Linux is all right. It's a... Uh, yeah, the people who were at the hospital were using Windows XP. Well, XP, that shit's all vulnerable. Yeah, except, for, yeah, because we've had, like, that stop making the, updates for them. That shit so. came out in 2001 or so. Yeah, they stopped making updates for them, so, of course, that shit got jacked. Yeah. And everyone who was in the hospital, like, pretty much kind of passed away. Yeah. Uh, well, the hand of the Lord. Half the people. But yeah, that was all that. Even Apple, uh, wasn't it Apple? To, no, 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 no. Bill Gates came out and he blamed the government for it. He said, Y'all the ones that created that software. You know, that was Microsoft itself to come out saying that. So it, that affected hospitals, don't they? Yeah. It affected hospitals, businesses, schools. Yeah, because everybody's still using Windows XP. They got a hit. This is something they so they decided to run Windows XP. And so what they ended up doing was like, Microsoft did this rare thing when they actually like sent out an updated release to protect us. That was compatible with uh, the Windows XP. Oh, Windows XP's back. We'll be using it. Nope. <laughs> nope, it's only back for a minute. Like they only did the after they told me. That's the only shit, Windows I do shit. like is Windows XP. That's the only good one. I'd rather use Windows. I'd rather use Windows 3 than use Windows 10. That old raggedy shit. Yeah, don't use Windows 10. All that Windows is garbage. Windows all have back doors. 
You know, it's all spying on you. Wait, I mean, all that shit's spying on you. You're not safe There's... nowhere. Even, you know, Linus Torvalds, right? They yeah. created a Linux kernel. He even said that the NSA came to him and uh, uh, they tried to get him to put a back door in the Linux for, for the uh, FBI. I think I saw a video NSA. Yeah, well, his father actually is the one who said it. But he didn't actually say if they did it or not, though. Yeah, but, he, but he said they came to him and asked him to do that. So, so they're very well. You, you, know, you, know, you know there's a backdoor in Linux, too. You know they made them. If they, if they want to get your shit, they're going to get it. Make them. Just make them. Yep, unless you're just the best. They just wait until he dies. That's why it's monopolized off of him. Because he's going to get people willing to sell out anything. They're going to take him a lot of money to do anything. Oh, yeah, they do. So you know what they do. And if they don't take the money, they're like, oh, we'll just kill your 50 children. Oh, you, it's too old to work. Yeah. That's why every time you see a president get in the office, what? They always break every campaign promise. You know what I mean? Oh, they get up in there, they probably threaten them like, this is how shit really goes. You're not in charge. Go against us. We'll kill you, your family, and everything. Right. You know what I mean? In front. Yeah, just, yeah, just go talk to them. Go read the teleprompter, bitch. Right. You know what I mean? That's how they do them. I'm the president. The ultimate bitch. Of course, stays the same. America gets it. Oh, yeah. Okay, back to the uh, first Corinthians 15. Behold, I will I show you a mystery. We shall not all be sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For in for corruption must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Right, and the scriptures tell you that we're going to receive everlasting life. I mean, that's a John 3.16. Everybody knows that scripture. <laughs> so they can't argue with it, right? <laughs> so, and people, like, you got Bible believers that will be like, that's not what that means. Dude. Well, what does everlasting life mean? It means not everlasting life? Right, total opposite. It means the opposite? You know what I mean? Everyone wants to be immortal until they actually get to their own consequences. I mean, our spirits are immortal anyway. So. I mean, if you handicap one time and you can't die, shit. There ain't going to be no handicap. She's like, Ugh. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah, mommy, you said those niggas is terrible in bed. Mom in the background like, you know, honey, I tried to tell you. I didn't want to say nothing with daddy around. Those niggas are turning you out. I got a scripture to back you up. What we going? I was about to bring this out earlier and get to it. This is John. It's going to fulfill this scripture, too. I mean, we already. Let me just read it. John 10 and 34. Yeah, how shall I answer them? Is it not written, written in your law? I said, ye are gods. If he called them gods unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken. <laughs> so the scripture said that we're gods. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Or we're powers. The Lord gonna give us power. That's right. Right now we just got that uh we just got the Holy Spirit, like uh the spirits is dealing with us, man. Because really the real spiritual power is to know the truth. What is this shit? Let me read this. This is Psalms 82. <sighs> And six, but the point is separate. I have said ye are gods, and all of you are children of the most high. But ye shall die like men and fall like the ones of the princes. Yep. And so, I know he's not about to go into the street. Right now we have okay, like, like immortality. Hey, get that scripture uh Open uh, uh, second Ezra's uh look at second Ezra two. And the Lord he said you gotta put off the mortal, put on the immortal. Immortality. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, because that's what, because you guys are supposed to put off all the cares of this world, man. You're supposed to put on the immortal. Get, the mortal is dealing with the flesh. All this bullshit out here. You worrying about how you going to eat, how you going to pay bills. Fuck all that shit. It's funny, like, how you just, like, said that the mortal is worried about the flesh. And I just like, the face this shit. What the fuck is that? What the hell are you doing? 
he at home, she at home jacking off from that shit, man. No, acting like he ain't. So, <laughs> like, she's trying to get all approval. I'm not gonna lie, I did watch my lesbian porn. Ah, oh, my nigga. Uh, my nigga. <laughs> I love that shit. Oh, man, <laughs> <laughs> crazy as hell, bro. I can't do it with guys. I, I gotta hear that grunt in the background, like, Shit, just this is real life porn hub that's on the streets. Really? Man, you bitches walk around half naked. They don't leave much to the imagination. Porn? What? Yeah, you lose. It does shit to the That's why a lot of them are into this weird shit now because they got used to watching all that man woman and shit and they, out of curiosity, after they burnt out some man woman, they pop like, let me just see what those two dudes is doing. And then from that, they go from, let me see what that, uh, that, horse. that pony, right, that pony did to that dude. It just goes on and on, man. They continue walking. And it gets, they go deeper and deeper into a ditch. Man, man, they make sweet love. Horses, dogs, you already know that. They make it sweet love to them, too. I mean, I heard about it. I didn't think it was actually... Oh, it was a cop, it was a popular video on YouTube by more for the marriages. Marrying horses, man. These women marrying horses, man. That's crazy, man. I, I see, I see. But we ain't making this up, though. Like I said, the scripture says these people are worthy to be laughed at, man. You know? I'm crazy, man. I mean, you see there's always people in the news every day getting caught with, like, hard drives full of child porn. Child porn. Snuff I should, films. I should probably start watching them. I mean, look, they got uh, two pedophile statues, right? You see them statues right there in front of the state house? Those are pedophile statues. They got a dude with his butt cheeks showing, holding a naked little boy, and then there's a woman holding a naked little girl right there in front of the state house. And people just walk by and they don't even notice it. Go look at it. We done made a video on it. Yeah, don't go spiritually cut off, man. It's spiritually cut off. And they really got a snatch of this butt cheek show right there. Nobody complains about it. Yeah, the game's out. Yeah. Holding the nigga little boy. It's like a nice young lady. You don't know. It's a shame to speak of those things which they do in secret. A shame. But <laughs> you don't know, man. Like they always said, every time a uh, murderer gets caught or a uh, 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 rapist gets caught in the neighborhood, the neighbor's like, "I never knew he was the nicest guy. I would never suspect that he would do such a thing." Uh, never knew. Like I expect to say, it's a shame. We knew though. Yeah, we knew because you can tell through the spirit who's a fucking creeper. And a fucking weirdo, man. I could take one look at a fucking weirdo and know his ass is a fucking weirdo. Creepy, creepy motherfuckers out here, man. 